Hello and welcome to the video. For those of you who haven't been following my channel, this is my homemade coaxial helicopter. It's not a kit, it's not been built from plans. I have designed and made it from scratch. It's largely unproven at this stage, but on the last test I was close to lifting off the ground. Since then I've made some tuned exhausts to help the power and today I will find out if it's enough to succeed. For this test the helicopter is tethered with cables at four corners to my car trailer but is free to lift a couple inches. The cooling system for now is just a container with a 12 volt pump for circulation. It provides enough cooling to carry out the short test and in between the tests you have got some nice hot water for a cup of tea. The current empty weight of the machine is 120 kilograms or 264 pounds. I weigh 95 kilograms or 209 pounds so if it gets off the ground today it will be lifting 215 kilograms or 473 pounds. The engine is 60 horsepower ish. I don't know how much power the exhaust have added. Perhaps a dyno build is a future addition to the workshop. So I'm about to test here. Notice the seat belts being worn even with a tethered test. I think it's a necessary addition even at these early stages. you how good a feeling it was to experience it lift completely. What a four year journey it's been from design on paper to now. Yes you get rewarded in stages throughout the build and those are great but this is something different and it may take a week to calm down. The bottom rotor is set at a pitch of 6 degrees and the top rotor at 5.3 degrees. The rotor RPM whilst hovering was 780. That puts the engine at 5500 RPM. I did have one failure, perhaps you heard it on the video. The exhaust baffle cone split open. The material thickness for the baffle cone was only 1 mil. The rest is 1.5 and above, so I'm going to remake these. Here's another viewpoint that gives you an idea of what it's like to sit in it. 
My friend is watching on and he decides to take a step back during the test. I don't blame him. Ha, <laughs> ha, 